Thank you, Senator Cruz. And now we'll go to questions for the nominees. I'll jump in right here with um, the Pacific Northwest Corridor that had service reestablished and to the pre-pandemic levels, but staffing was a major issue. And so I really want to know from each of the nominees what you are doing, what you think we need to do to make sure that we are upgrading staffing. Um, I want to understand, too, what we are doing to add more uh, capacity to those Pacific Northwest routes between Seattle and Portland by the fall of this year. Um, and uh, on safety, want to understand, you know, we basically, after the DuPont accident in Washington that killed three people and injured 60, Amtrak instituted a safety management system, very important for improving safety culture, but they were designed to ensure that they address the new risks. I'm concerned about an inspector general report from December that found Amtrak had lax security practices and led to former employees selling keys to sensitive areas on the internet. It is critical that Amtrak ensure the safety is the number one priority. So if each of you could address those issues to the degree that you are involved or knowledgeable. Chair, Chair Cantwell, I, I'll, I'll, I'll begin for obvious reasons that my current tenure at Amtrak gives me, I guess, the ability to respond directly to some of the issues you raised. And, and frankly, those are all issues that are very important to the board and to me personally and for which we've spent a considerable amount of time. First, to sort of address your question about workforce, and in particular, having the adequate staffing to create the in increased levels of capacity in, in our Pacific Northwest service. Um, the, the need to hire qualified people to work at Amtrak and to operate the nation's railroad system has been an absolute priority, and we have committed an enormous amount of effort to recruiting and training and finding people who can make a career, which we believe is a very promising basis for a career as part of the national rail system. Do you think this is key to getting services expanded or reestablished? I, I, I think it is, but I'm, I guess I'm here to report to you what I think is good news in the sense that in the last fiscal year, we were able to hire 3,700 new employees to Amtrak to restore much of what was lost as a result of the pandem pandemic in normal attrition. And in this fiscal year, we've already hired 2,700 additional employees to give us the full complement to restore that service. Specific to the Northwest service, we are very deeply into the specific training program to train people on that territory to be able to put into effect the two additional frequencies that we expect to put into effect. And I'm confident and can commit to you today that we will meet the deadline to do that and that we have the adequate resources to do it because of the work we've done in the last 12 months of recruiting and building a workforce. Safety management systems. Um, we, we, you know, I, I will tell you that the, the lessons and the issues surrounding Train 501 are very deeply ingrained in my mind and in my heart. I know that, uh, that nominee Brown is, is, has a, a very important task, and safety is our top priority. We have initiated a number of different issues relative to adopting an overall safety management system that, as you know, you're never done with developing a full safety management system. We have, we have affected the training from the most senior executives to the, to the people in the field, all of whom have helped us to create what we believe to be a safety culture where people are not afraid to speak up where there's an issue that they noticed, where the people are not punished for bringing up safety issues that need to be addressed, and we're adapting the use of modern technology to allow us to train people better. The use of simulators, the use of different training protocols, all of which I think have put us in a position of, of creating a much safer railroad. And the early indications are that our numbers are supporting that, including the very low number of incidents. That Mr. Shabatz, do you, would you make workforce a priority and safety management system culture a priority and reestablishing service? Uh, uh, Senator Cantwell, yes, I would. Um, I think staffing both quantity and quality of employees uh, is key and essential uh, to increased service. Um, uh, and I believe that increased service is essential if we want to get Amtrak back to operating in the black. Um, so all those things tie together. Uh, on the safety side, uh, uh, you know, if confirmed, I and my colleagues here will be on the board of directors, will not be management. And so there's a distinction there of what our roles are for culture, I mean, for, uh, for safety. Uh, but I'll echo um, what uh, Chairman uh, Kosha said about the culture. 
uh, uh, an appropriate role for the board of directors is to ensure that we have a culture of safety so that the experts that, we, that are brought on board in Amtrak feel comfortable um, moving forward to say, we have these challenges that need to be addressed uh, and no one fears, no one is afraid for their career um, or for their position um, if they're reporting safety challenges that need to be addressed. Thank you. I'll either come back to you, Mr. Brown, or in writing, either way, but um, Senator Cruz? Uh, 